So now we're going to actually see the machine working. So if I give you a quick sort of demonstration of how it actually works, um, you've basically got two parts of the loom. You've got a dobby mechanism at the top and what's called a shaft system at the bottom. So these pieces here are called shafts and we've got 16 of them on this loom and that enables us to create really complicated designs. Your normal twill, which you'll find on denim jeans and um, tartans and tweeds, is only woven using four shafts at the front. So it's only these four. But with our signature collection, the designs that we create, we use all of these shafts. So we're able to create really intricate, delicate designs. And basically what happens, how it works, is every single end at the front of the loom here, so every end of the alpaca yarn, one of these, is threaded on a particular shaft through what's called a heddle. And these are called heddles, and you see they're basically like the eye of a needle. So every one of those ends, all 1,322 of them, wow. <laughs> are threaded through those heddles in a particular order and that's what's creating your design. So that part of the loom works with this part of the loom, which is, as I said, it's your dobby mechanism. And it's essentially an old fashioned computer system. So every one of these holes equates to one of the shafts. So hole one is shaft one, right up to the other end, number 16. If there's a peg hammered in, a little wooden peg, your shaft at the bottom of the loom will lift up. If there's not a peg in, it will stay down. So the two of them work together and you'll see just now when I weave, the whole thing working as a whole. So when I put my foot down, it's weaving one of those computer chips in the mechanism is telling this part of the loom which ones to lift and which ones to keep down and that is what creates your weaving gap or your shed where your yarn your beautiful alpaca yarn and your shuttle go through that gap one by one push it back and when i let go it will switch around to the next uh, pick of the pattern. Again, so a different set of shafts lift up. You've got a shed again, a gap. Yarn and your shuttle go through the other side. Pick two. And it just goes round and round, creating your repeat. That's amazing. So you change colours for the crosswise stripes? Yeah, so we change colours. So at the moment we've got a beautiful light blue. But over here, I have colours ready to go. Okay. For the so switch. Do you have to keep count? Yes, we keep count. So we're, we're measuring and counting every check. So you've got a dark blue line, which is, I believe, 14 picks, 14 lines. Yes. And then you've got a nice chunk of um, light blue, which we will actually measure because it becomes quite, that's like a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> so it's better to measure for those ones, for your bigger chunks. Wow. I have never seen a loom like this working, let alone had a personal guided tour. Thank you so much.